So we're still in the process of talking about patterns and how we can establish them. The previous problems were all based on numbers and sequence. Uh, this one we have some pictures. Uh, so hopefully, quickly, we can understand what's going on with this. So we have, excuse me, one row where we have rectangles. We have one row where we have ovals. We have one row where we have stars. So hopefully that kind of sort of helps us to start off by understanding that in terms of our explanation of the decision is that in the middle there, uh, you're going to have uh, ovals. The middle row only giving us ovals. So that should help us out there. You might have also noticed that in certain cases here, um, each image has either one, two, or three of the images involved there. So the first row is a rectangle, the second row is ovals, the third row is stars. So uh, with that being said, we know that we're gonna have to have three ovals in the middle. Um, so helping us establish what picture will go there. Every row has either one, two, or three of the shapes. And then finally, we can hopefully take a look here and see that we have um, specific types where it tells us um, the kind of shading, I guess we would say. So, um, this one right here is, uh, let's go ahead and say fully shaded. This one is empty. This one over here was empty. This one here is empty. The stars down here fully shaded in. Um, maybe I'll just use a S for semi, I guess. So... Right here, that's semi-shaded in, and over here, we're semi-shaded in, and down here in the bottom left-hand corner, these three stars are semi-shaded in. So that middle row with the ovals in it, um, there's three ovals in the middle, and uh, because we don't have the fully, fully one yet, we're going to go ahead and just fully color in these ovals. So the middle box here is fully shaded um, ovals. So each row has either uh, empty, semi, or fully shaded. And with that being said, we know that the answer here would be three fully shaded in